Right now we are at Calberry National Park. The National Park is so beautiful during spring season. The drive into the National Park is so beautiful. There are a lot of wild flowers on both sides of the road. And um, at the entrance of the park, um, there are a few um, car park like space for car van, uh, longer vehicle to park. So we park there and unhitch our car van and then we just um, drive to this um, to do the nature window walk. It's about 25 kilometers from the entrance of the park to here. Um, there's a sky walk which is right just over there so we're gonna do that after the walk apparently look like the nature window walk only 500 meters so it's not that far we want to do the loop trail but for I think due to the heat risk that's the sign said they are closing so we're not doing that is actually turned out to be saving us a lot of time because we're gonna do a Z bend after which is on the opposite direction Justin and the girl is already way ahead of me. It's a uh, it's nice day today. A bit of uh, it's it's quite windy, um, but it's not super strong. Well, so far it hasn't blow off my hat, so which is good. It means Johnny can handle it. Um, on the way in, we stop at a few lookout. I think it's called Ross Graham and Hawkhead lookout. We did manage to join that area, even though it's um, a little bit of wind there. people there already. Oh, 
trail uh, we did send Johnny out up there to we trying to see if we can capture the Z band uh, unfortunately we couldn't do it because the wind is getting stronger and Johnny complaining so we have to send him back uh, it's a it's quite lovely here um, we're just sitting around some shaded rock and the gorge it, this is like a river was in the middle um, there's some people here as well, but this place is quite big, so we just stay away from like 30, 50 meters away from people so that we can get the place for ourselves and we can be as noisy as we want. Sit, sit, yep, that's it. There you go. Now it's easy. And that's why I teach her how to do it. Okay, 
once again, we did something silly. No, I did something well, silly. Justin did something silly. He shouldn't have turned, but he turned it anyway, just like how we got bought at James Fire, but this time it's big time. The sand here just super soft. We did everything we, we can dig our way out using the max track and we even lower down to 10 psi and i think after spending on a, like half an hour trying to get out and then we couldn't get out so i went for help and then i got lost because it's a big sand dune and the hill and a lot of track i had no idea what i'm going so but i did finally found my way back to the campground and then i i came to this uh I immediately I saw a car so I immediately went to that car and then that car is a family I think of three because they're sleeping in the swag so I asked them if they can help me it take a while for the man to come out and he asked me where did you go book and because I've been walking around I have no idea where I am so I just trying to went up to the hill to look to see uh, like where our car van is and then um he went back to his tent so i went to his car and told him but then he didn't respond uh i waited and then he didn't respond either so i heard in the background there is a family of four i heard a voice of kid running around so i went up the hill and i saw them at the beach so i immediately ran to them asking them for help and then um the husband and the wife sort of clueless of what to do um they asked me like have we um go down to low gear or high range or high gear uh what is our psi and i told him we did everything and we couldn't get ourselves out and then see well the wife suggests that um i should go and um tell the ask the camp host the uh, host uh, is it host <laughs> for help and then there's a lady um who drove his youth came by and so she stopped and then we asked her if she can help and she had no idea either but then what she can do for me is she can drive me back to the camp house because it's quite of a walk so she did she drive all the way back and i asked the camp house for help and then he say i have no idea how to help i don't know how to help um i told your husband um uh, about the the sand and he he said that he know what to do and now uh, you guys got bored um and then i told him like you know is there anyone i can ask for help he said i have absolutely no idea um so i asked him like is there any way you can help me or at least lend me a shovel so he went in and he lent us a shovel the lady drove then drove me back to our car van so by the time i <laughs> i came back justin already got himself out thankfully there are three elderly in a youth i think they are local they drove past and then justin asked them for help so what he do is i think he got a strap and then pretty much he strapped our car to that car and then the guy just pull him out so that's how he got out and then they actually went above and beyond to help us they went around checking the area where the sand is hard and where soft so that we know where to go to camp our uh our cabin and then yeah they come back and they lead away and they tell us the spot so we decided to camp here because after what we've been through um not long ago we don't want to camp anywhere uh trying to find a good spot anymore we're just gonna stay right here because sunset here is on water so i will get a nice sunrise on the sand dune but we're all exhausted we haven't had a proper lunch or i haven't eat uh, and <laughs> so we are very tired and hungry and look the sand off or is it gone is it his there? face is full of sand like a lot of sand so we need a good shower right now but yeah thank god 